Time to give it some gas. Hello folks and uh, welcome to what I hope will be a very boring video for, for you. They tell me I have between 7 and 15 seconds of starting a video to capture people's attention and maintain it. Uh, yeah, that's gone. Okay, so um, we are at a rather interesting part here with our MG drive unit. And that is that we now uh, have it spinning under FOC, uh, closed loop control, with our version 2 logic board. Um, now you can of course ignore the, um, the high tech uh, battery supply that I'm using here, which is of course um, equipped with the latest in phase change coolant technologies get into the really fun bits uh, we've our usual kind of test rig set up here where I have my battery positive goes through a cooker element uh, connected in parallel with a allegedly DC 600 volt rated circuit breaker uh, we're feeding it with about 90 volts at the minute and I've got the two halves of it in series, so it has some chance of actually breaking the circuit. And that's supplying uh, current to our MG drive unit here. The drive shaft's finally turned up, and I got the cups um, pushed in. I put some oil into the gearbox. No idea what the right oil uh, for this drive unit is. Uh, so I used some uh, ATF-6 uh, that I had left over from Elon's um, adventures. Uh, got my amp meter, clamp meter here. I'm just going to, um, hope you guys will be able to see this now. I don't know if you will or not, but uh, we'll try and get you seeing it. I don't know. Anyway, it's there. Um, version 2 logic board currently just sitting in. I don't have the inverter fully buttoned up. Uh, the reason for that being um, that presently I had to find out the hard way, but the CAN SDO on the, on the open inverter system uh, does not support manual start function uh, that's needed for initial tuning. So I've had to use the onboard Wi-Fi here um, but now that we have a very base tune in this, everything can be controlled externally <coughs> and we can use a CAN based um, Wi-Fi. So hopefully in the next fun packed episode, you'll see this all boxed up and looking reasonably OEM. Now, uh, so we've got ourselves, got some high voltage on, resolver is connected up. Uh, we've got our wiring harness connected up. I've got a Nissan Leaf uh, throttle pedal and I made a quick kind of a control panel for this thing is using uh, some Nissan Leaf switches. So we have start, direction and brake um, on there. So um, I guess without further ado, let's take the thing for a little spin. So. I'll close my circuit breaker and we will uh, select direction. We will press start. Uh, let me see here on the old web interface if things are doing what they should be doing. I think they are. I think I can hear some inverter whine. Yeah, we are. If we get our trusty throttle pedal. There we go. And we can re regen back down. And we can select uh, verse direction. And give her some throttle. 
or forward or whichever, I don't know, it'll be which. I guess that would be a reverse, yeah. So folks, there you have it. Culmination of I think something like six months work on this thing. Um, that we can now give it some gas. Uh, hopefully coming soon to a web shop near you will be your very own MG drive unit logic board. Um, Going to need some help from Johannes to properly integrate uh, this, this board and the various um, functions that this drive unit needs into the open inverter um, core software. That's way beyond my friggin' skill level, I can tell you that. Uh, but, um, yes, my first drive unit logic board in quite some time. So... I'm going to do some more testing here on, I, I, I guess, the bench or the floor in this case. And we get this uh, inverter buttoned up now for the next episode where it'll be pretty much packed up as it is. Now, keep in mind, this is just a very basic tune here. Um, it'll need to be tuned properly when it's in the Volvo V70. Um, that'll be the parent vehicle for this drive unit. Um, but now that I know that all the functions work on this board, I will be able to make that available to you. So, a couple things before I finish up. I did have to guess the motor pole pairs and the resolver pole pairs um, setting. If anyone happens to know or has any information on this uh, drive unit, I actually think, I originally said this was an MGZS, but I actually, from what I'm seeing, uh, this is used in quite a few MG vehicles like the MG5, possibly the 4, you know, I don't know, they have all kinds of different things now. But, um, I think this will be a nice drive unit, folks, and hopefully... Uh, becoming more and more available. So, yeah, if you have any info on the motor and particularly the resolver, that would be great. Also, I no idea what the correct oil for the gearbox is, uh, but I had to put some oil into it, obviously, before uh, working on it here. I put in ATF-6 uh, that I'd left over from the Tesla Model 3 drive unit, which we will be getting back to the PCB on that, now that we have this one finished. Um, so if you know what the correct uh, lubricant is for this um, unit, uh, please leave a comment below. So, folks, this video has gone on for long enough for the sake of spinning a motor. Uh, so I'll wrap it up here. Um, Thank you very much, as always, for watching. Don't forget to give these stupid videos a serious thumbs down, unsubscribe, subscribe, and don't share them with your friends, because they won't be your friends any, anymore. Um, 
do check out the links in the description for the open inverter forum and all that good stuff avoid the ones for patreon and pay and paypal because then i take your cash spend it on stupid stuff like this and then develop stupid open source ways of controlling them and that's stupid so no more money okay and until next time Happy drive unit spinning.